How to remove cat spray. Method 3. Removing spray from hardwood floors and baseboards. 1. Start by cleaning the area with a damp cloth. Remember that cats spray vertically, so you will need to clean the whole area including the floor, baseboards, and lower part of your wall. Start by cleaning the area with a damp cloth to remove any wet spots or visible traces of the urine. From there, you can apply a stronger cleaner as necessary. 2. Try a hydrogen peroxide mask. This method is particularly useful if the urine left a stain. Soak a clean face cloth or hand towel in 3% hydrogen peroxide until it is saturated but not dripping. Wring the towel if necessary, and place the towel on the sprayed area. Let the towel sit for 2-3 hours to clean the offending spot. If you need to press the towel against a baseboard, use something disposable, such as a Tupperware, to wedge the towel against the wall. If the floor or baseboard is still damp when you remove the hydrogen peroxide towel, wipe the area dry with a clean cloth. 3. Use an enzyme-based cleaner formulate for wood floors. An enzyme-based cleaner is the best way to help you remove odor from your floors, but wood floors need a gentler formula than carpet. Use an enzyme-based cleaner formulated for wood floors by wetting the sprayed area with the cleaner and allowing it to air dry. You may want to test the cleaner on a small area of your floor before applying it to a highly visible place to ensure it won't cause any damage. Enzyme-based cleaner should not be used directly on untreated wood or subflooring, as this could cause damage. 4. Sand the wood down and refinish. If the stain is not dissipating, you have the option of sanding down your wood floor. This is not to be undertaken lightly because it is expensive and time-consuming, but it may be the best option to remove very deep staining. Sanding removes the top layer of wood and will effectively polish out the spray by buffing away the surface layer it lives in. Contact a professional contractor for a quote to perform this work without damaging your floor. Sanding is simpler to do with unfinished wood, a deck, for example, but can be accomplished with finished hardwood inside. A professional can help you match your existing finish properly. A contractor can replace and paint a piece of your baseboard if necessary. If the spray sunk deep into the wood, a contractor can also help you replace smelly or damaged areas.